Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today guys will be super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes. I mean I'm talking about almost any Mercedes. Uh, C-Class, E-Class, uh, if you have a GLE, GLC, GLA, doesn't matter what it is. SUV, a car, if you have an engine that's uh, a gasoline engine and you have a code, uh, engine light and code such as P0420, that means the catalytic converter is below uh, threshold, that means the catalytic converter is not working correctly. Multiple things can cause that code. By the way, we will have a special video about that on our channel, but most of the time, just a quick summary, it's either bad catalytic converter or bad downstream oxygen sensor. Most of the times, it's bad catalytic converter that can be thousands of dollars in repairs but in today's video we will explain how one additive for only a few dollars can save you guys now does it work every time no but it works quite often that we use it here in the garage we are quite happy and we want to share that with you so we can guys save you some money let's start on it now so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix engines transmissions bodywork engine codes transmission codes fuses relays why we do all that guys because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos we guys have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. If you need to buy two parts for your car at a really good price and quick shipping as well, we'll put the link in the description of the video uh, below for your convenience, please check it out. So guys, if you have a Mercedes, you have that code P0420. Guys, that's bad news. It could be super expensive because most of the times it leads towards catalytic converter or downstream oxygen sensor. Let us show you now where they're located. This is just a simple four cylinder turbo engine. V6s, okay, we'll have two catalytic converters, V8 as well. The four cylinder, okay, we'll have one. And that's the exhaust side, never touch anything. It could be super hot, guys, but that right there, okay, we're talking about, okay, let me focus down here. That's the catalytic converter, that second oxygen sensor, you can see the first one is here, the second one is down there. It detects if the catalytic converter is doing its job, guys. So what we we'll usually do, test the downstream oxygen sensor if you won't know, uh, if you don't know how to do that. We have videos on our YouTube channels that will teach you guys how to do that. Next, we guys, depending on the Mercedes on the fuel tank, don't add more than 70 liters of fuel in gallons in the US here, guys. That's probably about not to have more than 17, 18 gallons of fuel. But that can treat up to 70 liters of fuel. It says it lasts 2,000 uh, kilometers. We've had a really high success rate with that additive. We add it to the fuel and we start driving. Now, guys, often uh, it will turn the lights off or you may need to reset them manually, but they will never come back on. We've seen that quite often. In other cases, if it's really bad, what do you guys do? We add one of those. You find a road where it's safe, and of course you follow the speed limits and all that stuff, but uh, a road with incline, like a mountain pass, and make the engine work harder, harder okay? Climbing that mountain uh, and going a little bit faster, as of course, follow the speed limits, but more gas will be pushed through the catalytic converter and with that additive it will help clean it. Try that too. It might take two, three cans sometimes, but we've seen, okay, where on the third time it works. We'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. It's worth it, guys, because it's only a few dollars compared to thousands of dollars on new catalytic converter. So, you have, guys, okay, uh, probably on most Mercedes it will be between uh, usually a bit about a half to a full tank, it really depends on the capacity. Ours is capacity 17 gallons, so we can start with a full tank. Open the gas cap, and once you guys open the gas cap, okay, all we have to do add it. So that's what we'll be doing next. So shake it good guys, okay, shake it good. Make sure you don't spill any. We recommend to use gloves and eye protection as well. Go ahead, squish there, open it on the sides you squeeze. Okay, it has a child protection. The cap's gonna come off. You have a seal inside. Okay, this one. You just grab the seal, careful not to get in your eyes. When you pull that thing, we can add the thing. Go ahead, okay. Turn in. Perfect, and now 
you have to quickly get it in the hole there okay not to spill so okay perfect you can see guys okay it's it's quite gone I mean it's so fast okay that practically guys okay it's empty all the way now so we can continue so if you have a Mercedes again it could be anything guys it could be SUV it could be a car C, E class, S class, G, O, E, G, O, A, G, O, C, uh, multiple ones guys. If you have that code, that's the way to try. Because those catalytic converters could be super expensive. Try, try two, three cans of that, see if it fixes it. Always use 91 gas, right? Minimum, because that can have a, a quite of an effect too. Now, that's how we fixed our Mercedes. Now, we don't have any lights on. Preventative, we added like we did now once in a while so we get uh, uh, make sure that it doesn't come back on it's all expensive additive so usually an oil change between oil changes we added once and uh, we never the light never came back on hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time